Helen, four gold record awards within a year, a Grammy Award, appearances at uh, concerts in the best spots, America and Europe, and your own television series. It all seems to be happening for Helen Reddy, doesn't it? It's been a very exciting year, yes. What achievement in your career so far has given you the greatest satisfaction? I, I would probably have to say winning the Grammy because uh, I really didn't expect it. Uh, I convinced myself that Roberta Flack was going to win. And I, I kept telling myself that it didn't matter, that, oh, the Grammy's no big deal, it doesn't matter, and that kind of thing. And, of course, I realised after I'd won it just how much it, uh, it did mean. What did it mean to you professionally? A lot more money, presumably, well, it's, and in terms, if Well, in cold, hard cash, it was worth about a uh, million dollars. In terms of publicity, it was incalculable. How did the idea for your, well, I suppose it is your biggest hit, I Am Woman, how did it originate? Well, it's not my biggest hit. Delta, it's not? No, Delta Dawn has outsold I Am Woman so far. Great. Um, what was the first part of the question? Uh, how did I Am Woman originate? Well, I was, I, was looking for, I was looking for songs for my first album. And uh, I'd been involved in the feminist movement for about nine or ten months at that point. And I, I was looking for, for songs that would re re reflect the change in my consciousness. And there weren't any. You know, I, I kept coming up with all these awful I Am Woman songs like uh, I Am Woman, You Are Man, I Am Weak So You Can Be Stronger Than, and, and I Am Woman, W-O-M-A-N, I Can Cook a Mess of Grits Faster Than You Can, and all these kind of uh, songs that weren't saying anything at all. And uh, I realized that uh, I was going to have to write the song. And I was sitting in bed one night and, and the lines, I'm strong, I'm invincible, I'm woman, just kept going over and over in my head and I realised that was the beginning of, of something. And the song just kind of uh, grew from that. Straight from the heart. I guess so. Well, when one thinks of women, one uses terms like warm, placid, kind and this sort of thing. Your, your philosophy, uh, the, the words of your song, I am woman, seem to counteract that. No, 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 but if we should be talking about human qualities, uh, would it be wrong to describe a man as being tender? I think a tender man would be wonderful. And I, and I think that, that strength and, and tenderness are not opposites. I think both qualities can coexist side by side in the one human being, and I, and I think that those are two qualities that every human, regardless of sex, should be striving for. You know, we're, we're not going back to horse and carriage days. It just isn't going to happen. I can't even imagine what a fully, late, fully liberated woman would be like. That's such a, such a foreign concept. I mean, in, in the present world that we have now, it's just impossible to think about it. It's, it's a long way off. When we have a, a total equality with all segments of society. And what are the main things that you want equality in? What areas? Well, there's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of things. Uh, probably the basic underlying thing is just a general change of attitude toward women in in general and on the part of women themselves. But uh, there are a lot of uh, concrete issues which are very important to women, and, and and different women have different issues which directly relate to to their lives. But uh, equal pay for equal work, child care, all these kind of things, um, I think, are very important. Mm. Well, when is a woman liberated? What, at what stage? I mean, are you well, when, a is a, when is a person liberated? When they are no, long, no longer discriminated against by the society. 